how do you visualize? Everyone talks about how visualization is critical to uh, move things forward in, in life, how to, to, get, to get success, but how do you actually do it? The, the reality is there's actually two different ways to visualize and only one of them works for you. Uh, one of them produces results, one doesn't. The first way is what's called dissociated, and that's where you are seeing yourself almost as if you're on a movie screen or on a um, TV screen, so you're looking at yourself in the picture. The second way is where you're associated, where you're in the memory, in the, uh, the visualization, as if you're reliving it or living it now. So, for example, if you were to think of something you absolutely, absolutely love to do, okay? Think of something that you totally love to do. Remember the last time you were doing it and how it felt going through all of the motions, whether you're outside, inside, whatever. And just as if you were right there, remember it and step into it, smell the smells, the taste, everything. Now take that picture almost as if you could and push it away. Push it away almost as if it's a thousand miles away. Make it small and dim and dark and tiny and take that picture and swing it around behind you. And what happens? What do you notice? What do you think happens? If you can, you can comment right into the, the comments here. What happens as you push that away? What most people notice is as you push the picture away and then you put it around behind you, the feelings go away. Okay, so now bring that picture around, bring it in front, make it big and bright and colorful and step into it. What happens when you do that, when you step right into that, that, that image? What happens? All of those feelings come back. When you're in that picture, you are fully associated and you're getting the feelings. And that's what's critical. If you don't step into the picture, if you don't get the feelings, visualization is a total, utter waste of time. Okay? What you have to do is make sure that you're associated in the picture. If you are visualizing a goal and you're seeing yourself out there, it's not motivating at all. It's just like looking at a postcard of someone that did what you want to do. What you want to do is be in that picture, feel it, taste it, almost as if you're right there. Imagine it. The more you, intensely you can do that, the more powerful it's going to be. I'm Ravi Tangri, and this is the Met Yeah podcast. This is the Nugget Show, where I give you midweek something that's a really powerful resource to really elevate your life where, where you can get a whole lot more yeah in it. On Monday, we have our profile podcast, which is going to interview someone that's taken their life to a real life of yeah, so that we can learn from that. And this coming Monday's podcast, we're going to dive even more into this whole issue of vis visualization and how do you make it happen so that you can accelerate your success. And to get the full interview, you'll get the highlights on Facebook and YouTube. To get the full interview, make sure you subscribe to the podcast. Just go to ravitangri.com. That's R-A-V-I-T-A-N-G-R-I.com. Thanks, Darcy. Appreciate the feedback on that. Uh, and you can just scroll down a little bit at ravitangri.com, and you can either get the full uh, interviews through my blog uh, or through iTunes or Google Play or however else you want to get it. Have an amazing day, and we will talk with you soon. And uh, take care. Get a little more yeah in your life.